Okay, why don't we uh, move along here? We introduce our, our first guest. Yes, yes. Again, we have filmmaker Mark Magro and photographer Tom Panasiak here from Wanted Media to chat about their documentary film. King, how are you guys? Good. Thanks. Welcome to the show, guys. Thanks for having me back on. Oh, it's our pleasure. Yes, our pleasure. always. So I was reading uh, the back of the synopsis of your film. It's, it's very, uh, very interesting. Why don't you tell us a little bit about Mark? And, or why don't you do this? Why don't you tell us the, the position that you guys play in the film or, or what your, your role is? I know you're probably men of many hats so <laughs> yeah uh, basically I'm the producer and director for the film uh, the film was financed by the Heritage Committee of King and uh, Tom you can introduce yourself I was uh, the photographer and not to mention uh, just a laborer I guess. Yeah. <laughs> everything yeah, everything yeah. Uh, everything and anything now we said it was financed by the Heritage of King yeah what is that um, the Heritage of King is basically a, a small committee in King Township that basically deals with all the uh, heritage stuff, so history, preservation, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Okay, and, and obviously that's hence the name, King? Yes. Do they make it, name it King or not really? No, no, no. no. <laughs> I wanted to do it as simple as possible. King is the story of King Township. It's, okay. The film is basically the story of an entire township told through the eyes of uh, local students. So it's a very unique film. And, it's a, and it is a doc, right? It's a documentary. And how, how long is the doc? It's 35 again? minutes long. So, okay, so take us through about what, what the actual uh, process and what, what the word that you're trying to get out regarding your doc is. Okay, well, for this particular one, um, the premises is basically on education. Okay. And um, just telling people how um, local history can relate to all of Canada. So... Um, when I was working with these students, which I have never worked with students before in the past, it was quite unique, quite a unique experience. Okay. Um, so imagine I'm dealing with 11 students, and um, I'm asking them questions about local history, and they're giving their own opinions and interpretations of the past. They're not reading from um, a history book. They're not dictating history. They're kind of um, reinventing uh, the way history is taught. Okay, how they see it through their own Yeah, eyes. exactly. So picture a, a fast-paced movie that's visually stunning, that has uh, commentary on the history of this township and relates it to the entire history of Canada. And then you have these students giving their opinions on the history. So it's... Uh, Double-edged sword a little bit. Well, it's, it's very dense and compact, but it's not... Uh, Heavy? It's, it's not heavy. Yeah. No. And I, I would love to ask you, uh, Mark, what, and I know we perhaps chatted about this a while back when you, were, when you were on, but, you know, for the people tuning in for the first time, what inspired you to take on this project from, where did this come from, this inspiration? Um, well, the person that was uh, behind this was actually a teacher um, who actually taught these students. And uh, this teacher had, her name is Elaine Robertson, and she's from uh, Kettleby Public School. And basically, she had this idea in her head for 25 years. So she had this idea in her head for 25 years. It's a long time. I know. About 25 years. About telling the story of, a story of King Township yeah. through the eyes of students. So I approached her. Um, there was some heritage meeting going on in King Township, and I went there because um, one of the ladies that was doing a presentation was one of the ladies I worked with on my first documentary in Caledon. Okay. So... Um, Basically, I met her, and she approached me with the idea, and then from that it evolved. And for me, it was quite the challenge to try to combine um, what I do as a documentary filmmaker with working with students. Okay. And trying to combine all that stuff together into something that's very uh, special. Now, is King going to be using this as a marketing tool for their township? Oh, yeah, for sure. That's, that's yeah. one of the main things, I, I would assume. Exactly. Yeah, the township uh, can use this as a promotional tool. Where is King? King's just north, what, just it's between Toronto and Barrie kind of deal, isn't north it? It's uh, north on Dufferin. King How many City? hours King, away? King City's the, uh, oh, I guess the capital. It's not far. Just it's maybe an hour out of the city, isn't yeah. it? Really? Yeah, just it's an hour. Yeah, it's, not bad. It's, on my, it's on your way to Barrie. Yeah. Sort of thing, because we go down the side roads and we can, they got beautiful, beautiful township. It's a beautiful landscape. Beautiful. And it's a very uh, pricey area, too, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. <laughs> really? So, and they, so they finance this project for you? Yeah, that's right. Now... Because, you know, obviously in, the, in the, the world that we live in, it's so hard to get financing. Did you have to jump through like about a million and a half hoops? 
Uh, yes, yeah. uh, it's quite a long process to get funding for something like this. I would imagine so. Now, were, and were you up against other filmmakers for this opportunity? Or no, no? Um, what we do uh, is quite unique. Um, there's not a lot of people that do what we do, and I think there's an extreme need for films like this because um, a lot of people don't know Canadian history. And uh, whenever somebody mentions history, it's just people get the sense, especially, yeah, <laughs> it's boring. No, I know, it's, it's true, unfortunately. Especially Canadian history, yeah. unfortunately, unfortunately. Well, so the History Channel is really interesting. Yeah. There's a lot of good history. Yeah, there would be no History Channel if it wasn't for the Nazis. You know, oh, without the brown geez. shirts, there'd be no more History Channel. There's every, plenty of history, every night it's about, the bad stuff out there. You know, tanks and Hitler and Gestapo, like, that's all it is on a History should've, Channel. We should have put that in the, in the documentary. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> But I think there's a need for stuff like this, and I'm trying to reinvent the way history is taught. Now, you were talking that you were you were using the students, so obviously those were your ca that was your cast, the students or people yeah. of, of King Township. Yeah, the students uh, were in the film; they're exploring, and um, I asked them questions, and they answered. And so, um, for me to explain the story is one thing, but to see it is another thing. And actually, which. Which there you go, Tom. You can actually. Yeah, Tom, tell I us. Can, I'll plug it. I'll yes, plug it. absolutely. Well, uh, the premieres tomorrow nice. at the uh, Country Day School up on Dufferin Street. I can't remember uh, the exact uh, number, but it's on our website, wantedmedia.ca. If okay. you want to go there, and we'll give you the exact map and address. Uh, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night at starts at seven. We're uh, people. We'll be invited into the theater at 7, and the movie starts at 7.30. And between that, there's going to be a bagpiper. Uh, the mayor of uh, King Township is going to speak. Very nice. uh, oh, so people. they're all coming down? People yeah, yeah, all the, yeah they, uh, we bribed support, them right? and everybody. That's, that's really careful. nice. And it, is, is there a cost to get into this? No, show? it's absolutely free. There so you go. Hear that? Free, people. No free. excuses. No excuses. Check it out. Free. That's great. And tell us how long the film is. The, the, doc, the, doc. the film is 35 minutes, and it took about a year and a half to do. Really? It's quite long. That's great. And uh, Tom, tell us about, because I know you're the photographer on the project. Tell us yes. about your experience with it. Uh, it was unique, to say the least. Was I know, it? It was, uh, it was good. It was, there were ups, there were downs, there were times we were uh, sober, there were times we were, we were not. <laughs> but, uh, That's a lie. Yeah. Yeah. And it's yeah. shot in, what is it shot in, guys? Uh, it's, it's shot in uh, uh, just a standard DV format. DV, so. Yeah, HD, sort of, pretty much? Yeah, HD. That's great. Very nice, very exciting. And um, what was I going to say now? I was going to say, so, so, so all the people from King Towers, like some of the, like, I guess the committee people are going to be coming down? And oh, yeah. The, uh, the entire Hooch committee is going to be there. The mayor is going to be there. All the councillors. It's going to be a pretty big event. So uh, anybody is welcome. And uh, DVDs will be on sale. And, and uh, uh, speaking of the DVD, I know you, you brought us a copy. Obviously, we have it here to give away. But uh, I know uh, Blue is set up. Maybe we can show about a minute or so there you go. Uh, a clip yeah, of, of the a film clip from it. Cool. before it's we let you guys go. Perfect. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Ready? We'll take a look at Documentary King. Yeah. The place is whitewashed and repainted, ripped apart and rebuilt. A master of perfection is at work. Emotions, young and old. A little piece of the past is in everyone. Across the ocean or in our backyards, everything is connected. A generation is captured. They question the past and plan for the future. This is a story of King Township. King has an abundance of historical stories that are all very interesting. Things got kind of lost in the process, but King still has most of the stuff that has anything to do with history, and it hasn't developed too far, but I have a feeling it's going to get a lot bigger, and the more historical stuff is going to get lost. Where did it all begin? 
Thousands of years ago, the melting glaciers gave birth to this landscape. Forests brought animals, and in turn, hunters began to emerge. Centuries passed, and many cultures were formed. Agricultural villages, fortified structures, and complex societies became a microcosm of evolution. Constantly changing, there is a bond between humanity and the environment. Who were the first? Does it matter? Do we paint different pictures with the same brush? Before the Europeans came, that uh, there really was no documentation of uh, tribal affairs between different native tribes, because really they didn't, it was all passed through by word of mouth. So wars between different native tribes, even though they did happen, nobody really knows about them until the Europeans came and started recording what was happening. What we were seeing, we're just talking off the air, is a sort of a still a shots. bonus little little section in the in the film uh, of this of the shots, the Courtesy behind of the scenes photographer Tom. So that's also on the DVD, which is really lovely. Yeah. yeah. And uh, those shots were taken by you, right, of Tom? Of course. Yep. Right. Not by me, obviously. No. Okay, guys. So if anybody wants to get in touch with you, um, website address. It's swantonmedia.ca. Email address is swantonmedia at gmail dot com. Okay. And you can purchase the films online as well. Well, I can, say, yeah, so online, yes. and uh, is, is King Township going to be selling these, you think? They are. They yes. are going to be selling them. Yeah, exactly. That's and great. you can actually purchase Tom's photos on the website as well. Oh, perfect. Please okay. Do. So again, one more time for the website, www.wantonmedia.ca. That's great, guys. Nice. We, Thank we you, guys. Really appreciate you coming today. All the best tomorrow night. Thank you very much. And please do come back and let us know how it goes, the response you guys get. I hope it's going to be good. That's excellent. Congrats, guys, on completing that. Thank you. Thank you. In the studio today, we had Wanted Media Group. Mark Magro, filmmaker, and photographer Tom Panasiak. Perfect.